Hello, my name is James Woodward. I am an acupuncturist and a holistic therapist. And uh, I'm here today to talk about various different teas that are good for mental health. So um, I've got them here in its uh, loose form. And I'll start off by talking about some ones that people are most familiar with. I'm just gonna open up my tin here. I drink a lot of teas. So this first one, I don't think you can see, but you recognise it when I get it onto my hand here. This one is chamomile, and it's the one that most people are familiar with. It's uh, very, very good and relaxing. You can, I would recommend to have it probably more in the afternoon to uh, late evening. Um, and uh, it's, it is very, very good, but it also does drain the liver, so it does have an effect on some medication. So it's good to also know other calming um, teas and alternatives. So uh, moving on from this one, because most people are familiar. So the first one I'm going to talk about is jasmine. It comes in two forms. I've got it here in this nice tin. Um, this is silver needle. So I'll just get this here so you can just see a few. Right. Can you see it? There, oops. There we go. So um, this has a really potent smell. Um, it's very, very good. And you don't have to infuse it for very long. Um, about uh, three minutes off the boil. If you do it off the boil, it means it won't taste horrible and bitter and if you don't infuse it for too long it won't taste horrible and bitter but um, this is really good for uh, anxiety um, particularly for, uh, um, for if you're having like uh, uh, to the point where it's uh, oppression of the chest where you're having problems breathing so it's very very good for uh, for the lungs and the heart on an emotional level so it kind of relaxes it and it is fantastic it's just a very nice relaxing tea to drink but it also comes in a flower form like this um, it has a very I'm going to say to the camera it has a very um, light flavor um, it takes about between 5 to 15 minutes to uh, infuse and it doesn't really have uh, the same impact all the same properties as a silver needle but it's also still very good so if you want to uh, uh, mute or dull the flavorings of something like if the silver needle is too um, sort of powerful for you you can add it to it so it dulls it down um, I tend to do that if I uh, if I want to drink this tea or I don't drink it on its own personally but it's also very very good for uh, transforming phlegm so it's very, very good for the throat. And if you've got that kind of headache where it's a bit woolly, um, it, it's, it's good for that. So um, it's worth knowing that there's a difference and there's also a difference of what it does. And it's rather helpful because uh, you know all these things are interlinked. So as I move on from those two, I'm going to move on from one flower to another, and then to another after that. So I've got uh, this one here. This is Rosebud. Now these are, these are quite small. The last lot that I bought were massive and came from France. I don't know where these have come from, but they're not from France and they're really small, but have a very, very strong flavor. Um, this is very good for the kind of um, uh, anxiety that comes back and back again and then affects, ends up affecting your stomach. You know how you get like uh, that sense of overthinking um, and it kind of, affects your emotions so this is very very good for that and it's very very sweet it's fantastic for that um, and um, you can you can put, put it boiled and it, and it and it's just perfect and the next thing I'm going to show you is another flower but this is I would say not for necessarily mental health but you end up with dry eyes Got a nice fruity flavour. This is chrysanthemum. Uh, that comes in a different, a few different forms. You can see it's nicely dried up. Um, you get white flower and you get this one. 
golden, which comes from Kunlun Mountains. Not the same Kunlun Mountains you'll find um, from Iron Fist. This is not mythical, it's a real place. Um, you'll find it in lots of the old Chinese texts. And it's good for dry eyes, uh, fantastic for eyes, or kind of where you've had lots of stress and it starts to uh, flicker. Um, so it, it's very, very useful for that. And then, move on to that, to things that help with insomnia. I've got two things here. I've got Hawthorn, believe it or not. Hawthorn berries, there's one that goes on the floor. Just like this. It's really, really good. Um, but it has a kind of a tart taste. So um, you, you boil it up on the stove about f five to 15 minutes. And uh, it's good for, uh, for um, anxiety, hearts, uh, and it's really, really good for the heart actually. But it's the kind of thing that affects the chest. Um, and it will really, really help for going to sleep. But if, for flavour, I'd always add some honey. And then on top of that, I have something else which is also good. See where you can see that. This is lemon balm. Another one that takes a while to infuse in about five to 15 minutes. Um, and it's an acquired taste, but it's, uh, it's very, very effective um, as an alternative to um, the, uh, yeah, to any of the others. So insomnia, a lemon balm. And that's it. So um, uh, if you have any questions, uh, then contact me either through YouTube or wherever I have posted this. And uh, I work at the Tranquility Space Herm Bay, www.thetranquilitiespace.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.